Ty Campbell from Tekken Racing, and today we're going to talk about the setting throttle frequency, what it does, and how we can actually use it on the racetrack. So let's check it out. Throttle frequency is a feel setting. It changes the way the actual throttle feels and the motor output that you're getting at any throttle position. 6K is right in the middle of our range of available frequencies, and that gives you a pretty linear throttle feel all the way up to full throttle. Now, if you lower the throttle frequency, that's actually going to increase how aggressive the throttle picks up because we're changing the pulse width. Now, without getting too technical, pulse width is just how many times we're throwing an on-off signal at our motor. So that little tidbit of info aside, all you need to know is that lower frequencies, more aggressive. Higher frequencies, less aggressive. So let's expand on that a little bit. Say we're racing 17.5 stock buggy, super high grip AstroTurf or carpet, or even clay. Typically, we would recommend running the lowest frequency possible, or at least something down in that 1,000 to 3,000 kilohertz range, because that's gonna make the car pick up a little bit more aggressively and even break the tires loose every once in a while. This isn't gonna add any additional power, it's just gonna change how quickly you can get up into the throttle with less trigger movement. Now clear on the other side of the spectrum, let's say we're outside, we're racing two wheel buggy on a really loose track. Typically you would wanna run something in that eight to 10K range, maybe even all the way up to 12 if you really wanna soften the bottom end out, but keep in mind, it's gotta catch up sooner or later, so that can make the upper end of the throttle a little bit more aggressive. The other thing I wanna mention is that if you're at full throttle, there is no frequency. So this setting is only going to affect 1% to 99% throttle. If you're at 100, nothing's happening, it's just go time. So now we have a basic understanding of what throttle frequency can actually do for us and change the feel of our ESC. Now let's plug into the hot wire real quick and I'll show you how to adjust it. So we've got our RX-8 plugged into the hot wire right now. We are at the dashboard and throttle frequency is going to be located on the throttle tab. So let's check that out over here and it's gonna be this drop down box down here in the bottom. You can see that the default is six kilohertz right now on this RX-8 Gen 3. I typically like to run in that six to eight kilohertz range most of the time just to give myself the most linear throttle feel possible especially in eight scale because those four pole motors are a little bit non-linear on power delivery and kind of have a dead spot up top. So we'll get into that in a different video on changing our power curves, but this is just to set our throttle frequency for now. So I'm gonna set this at eight like I normally run it. Head over here and hit apply settings. We wanna say yes, okay. It's very important that we do that so that we make sure the settings that we're setting are actually saved to the speed control. So that's it. That's all there is to adjusting throttle frequency.